The camera recording page allows you to enable live cameras to record video and configure recording settings. The camera recording setup node for IP cameras and encoders can be found in the configuration tree under IP cameras in the system setup. If you have an Exact Vision hybrid server, the analog cameras are listed under the name of the video capture card. The filters list allows you to select which cameras are displayed in the camera list based on categories such as camera type, recording status, resolution, and more. The camera list displays all the cameras on the selected server that match the criteria selected in the filter list. Cameras can be sorted by clicking the title of any column. Several of the columns can also be hidden or displayed by right-clicking any column title, although the checkboxes, camera names, and recording settings cannot be hidden. To search for a camera on the list, enter the text in the search field. If any information about a camera entry matches the search text in any displayed or hidden column, the camera entry is shown. To display the rest of the cameras that match the filter criteria, delete the text in the search field. It's very important that the settings on this page match what is specified for the installation. The changes made on this page have a direct effect on the amount of record time that will be saved on the hard drive or the drives of the system. The Enable column contains checkboxes that allow you to enable or disable recording from the selected camera. By default, the checkbox is selected if a signal is detected. However, you can manually disable recording on a camera that is connected and sending a signal to the system. Note all analog inputs are enabled by default. The Video Detected column will show if a video stream is detected by the software. It will be highlighted green if there is video and red if video is not detected. Again, by default, if video is detected, the camera will be enabled. It's recommended that you disable any unused cameras. Recording settings can be changed individually for a camera by selecting any of the drop-down lists in the frame rate, resolution, format, and quality columns. The options available in each drop-down list can vary by manufacturer and model. If a drop-down list is not displayed for a camera in any of the fields, the camera does not support the settings for that parameter. To apply settings to multiple cameras simultaneously, select the checkbox in the first column for all cameras or select the Select All Cameras checkbox. You can then select frame rate, resolution, format, and quality of the camera image. When finished, select Apply to Camera Grid. The changes should now be shown for all the selected cameras. When the desired configuration is achieved, click the Apply button at the bottom to save the changes.